Hello. Today's session is going to be a little bit on Power Over Ethernet or PoE and primarily on using the Cisco Power Calculator. The Cisco Power Calculator allows you to go online and calculate how much power devices will pull from a specific switch to make sure you're within specs when you're trying to, to design uh, networks and PoE designs with phones and access points typically. So why would you want to power something over an Ethernet connection? Well, typically uh, things like access points are a great thing to power over Ethernet because we don't then have to run 110 volts up into the ceiling. All we have to do is run the Ethernet up there and then you've got everything you need. You've got your data and you've got your power to that device. Something else you would want to run on PoE are IP phones. So your traditional phone in your house, maybe not anymore with the advent of mostly wireless phones, but your old traditional phone was powered from the CO. So technically it was kind of a PoE or a power over wire device from the central office. So when your power went out in your house, your phone still worked. Same thing we want to happen there, we want to happen when you have PoE phones in an office. If the power goes out, you want those phones plugged, or excuse me, you want those phones being powered from the switch so that you can have just a single UPS system, a battery backup system, in the closet keeping that Ethernet switch up, thus keeping all of your phones up so people can still make phone calls, emergency calls, do their normal business if they're primarily phone driven. However, the lights will be out. So, where do we go from here? Uh, there's some other applications for PoE. Lots, I'm sure, on the internet if you want searching around. Uh, one thing that I have seen is uh, PoE video cameras for security and PoE smoke detectors. So both of these provide human security as well as uh, asset security and I'm sure there are plenty other things that we can do. So let's move on and take a look at the Cisco Power Calculator. One thing to note is that the Cisco Power Calculator does require you to be able to log in to CCO. So let's go to the tool now and get there by going to tools.cisco.com forward slash CPC it's Charlie Papa Charlie and you'll see we get our login script or our login here once we get logged in we can launch the power calculator itself And the first thing we need to do is agree to the terms of use, which basically state that software and lots of other things can uh, change these power calculations. So always be sure and check the current release notes for whatever software you're using. Uh, now I've come into a finished configuration. We'll go back to select product. And here we can select the Cisco switch that we want to deal with. We'll select the 4500 and we click next. We can then go in and configure this product. We can select the specific chassis that we want and we can also select our supervisors and finally the input voltage in case we're in a data center, a closet, uh, or a DC powered data center. Once we've selected the power options, 
we can then put the specific cards into the chassis that we want to look at. We'll pick a couple of them here, one of them with PoE on it. And we do want to add PoE devices. That's where we're going to type in how many phones and how many access points we'd like to connect to this. And one thing to note on here is that down at the bottom you can find standards based uh, AF devices, class 0 through 3. So use those if you're not using Cisco devices. If you're using Cisco devices, then go ahead and type in the amounts of each of those devices that you have in here, including all of our access point radios and click next Ooh, and you can see I've put too many devices then we have PoE ports on there we have only 24 ports of PoE and I've included too many but that's okay for this notice we can have an Adobe file and an Excel file that we can download this in and you can see our power supply is 1300 watts in single slash redundant mode or combined mode. We're using very little power out of that power supply on this particular chassis. Now remember this was a 4503, so it was only three slots. We would see much different results where we loading up a 4507 redundant with a lot of PoE ports. You can see our heat dissipation our power output and then we can also see our different power supply options for this chassis. We can also see that down here at the bottom it gives us what percentage we would be using on all of the different power supply options and then exactly how much power we would be using for each of the devices that are connected. But please note when you're doing this that uh, software versions can change the power because of power management so make sure you check the release notes of any software you're using to be sure you know exactly what you're getting also know that Cisco tends to state power utilization a little bit higher than what you'll actually see in the field where you do measure it uh, that's because we state everything based on maximum power that we can draw that is everything for today's session. Thank you very much. I hope you have a good time, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to Tech with Ty.